Researchers found a 380-million-year-old fossilized heart. Scientists have discovered a 380-million-year-old fossilized heart. The fossilized organ was found in the remains of an ancient fish along with a fossilized stomach, intestines and liver. These discoveries shed new light on how the evolutionary process took place. In Western Australia's Kimberley Highlands, which was originally a large reef, scientists have discovered a 380-million-year-old fossilized heart, the oldest ever found. The organ was found in the remains of a prehistoric fish belonging to the maxillary fish, also called mandibles or maxillary fish from the class of armored fish. The fossilized heart was found along with a fossilized stomach, intestines and liver, and researchers say the specimens shed new light on the tortuous paths of evolution. The description and results of the research were published in Science. Kate Trinictic from Curtin University said the discovery was unusual given that the soft tissues of ancient species are rarely found well preserved. And it is even rarer to find specimens that have retained the three-dimensional structure. As a paleontologist who has been studying fossils for over 20 years, I was truly amazed to find a three-dimensional and beautifully preserved heart in a 380-million-year-old specimen, said Professor Trinictic. Evolution is often thought of as a series of small steps, but these ancient fossils suggest there was a much larger leap between jawed and jawless animals. These fish literally had hearts in their mouths, under their gills, just like today's sharks, she added. Analyzers have shown that the location of the organs in the bodies of hinged sharks, an extinct group of armored fish that also owned fossilized organs and lived during the Devonian period, around 420 to 360 million years ago, is similar to that of modern sharks. Offering important evolutionary clues, this study presents the first three-dimensional model of the complex hinge heart, which consists of two chambers, with a smaller chamber placed on top. According to Trinictic, these features are advanced in such early vertebrates, providing unique insight into how the head and neck region began to change to accommodate jaws. A critical step in evolution. For the first time we can see all the organs together in a primitive jawed fish. We were especially surprised when we saw that they were not so different from what we see. However, there was one critical difference. The liver was large and allowed the fish to remain buoyant. Just like today's sharks, some modern bony fishes, such as lungfish, have lungs that evolved from the swim bladder. But it was significant that we found no evidence of lungs in any of the extinct armored fishes we examined, suggesting that they evolved independently in fishes. Skeletal system at a later time, noted Trinictic. Using the latest technological solutions, scientists scanned the specimens, resulting in three-dimensional models of fossilized organs detailing the soft tissues inside based on different densities of minerals deposited by bacteria and the surrounding rock matrix. New discoveries of organs in ancient fish are truly a paleontologist's dream. Without a doubt, these fossils are the best preserved in the world compared to others of this age. They also demonstrate the value of the Gogo formation fossils in understanding big steps in our distant evolution, said John Long of Flinders University, co-author of the paper. What's really unique is that their soft tissues are preserved in three dimensions. In most cases of soft tissue preservation, we are dealing with flattened fossils, where the soft tissues are nothing more than a stain on the rock. We are also fortunate that modern scanning techniques allow us to examine these delicate soft tissues without destroying them. A few dozen years ago, such research would have been impossible, emphasized Peralberg from Uppsala University, co-author of the study.